Hey guys, Truck Hunter here for a new video. Truck Hunter 42, that is. I just found out about this shit right now. Quartz made another video, so I'm here to watch it and share my thoughts with you guys. Let's get into it. <laughs> That's classic planning right there. What's in the tower, I wonder? If only golf ball was there. Tennis ball. I know how tennis ball feels. Oh, tennis ball. Always so reliable. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck! Tor is about to get raped by that prickly vine. Shit, man! It's plant, plant, it's planting. Tor ain't planting. We're in love. I guess we're gay. Of course, nothing wrong with that. We live in 2022. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh man. There's a gap. Usually you don't want a gap there. Look, man. <laughs> this shit is funny. <laughs> Why was there a gap there? <laughs> I, I laughed at the default too because he's laughing. <laughs> oh, he's terminal. That guy is Muaz. I know Muaz. Pretty funny guy. Muaz. Oh shit. Quarter playing Minecraft. I played that with my son before. Until my wife took him away. To play Minecraft. 37 main. That's like how many of my friends from my gang remain in jail. I'm one of the three that got out. Yeah, that intro, that intro was fucking epic, man. It's MCC, of course, that stands for Minecraft Child Chorn. <laughs> Last time we had our first eliminations and a team-based story challenge. You go ahead and tell yourself that. <laughs> Doopy. Oh, there, Trunko, I know that guy. <laughs> He's a funny guy. <laughs> what a fuckhead. Yeah, you know what I mean? I call Yugi Ripoff. You is a Yugi Ripoff. I don't care. I will strangle you. You ain't seen my boys. That's what I say. Huh? Transphobic? You're not talking about me, right? I've never been transphobic in my life. I haven't even killed a single... What do you call them? Shit, man. I, I haven't killed anyone, by the way. The allegations are not true. I, I can't read that. The text is too small. It's some bullshit. There's Pokey Leaf. That guy's a funny guy. Sorry, this shit goes hard. What? Huh? What is this? I watched that show when I was a little boy, and that shit never happened. That shit never happened. <laughs> that was funny. 
I swear this shit never happened. Jeez, Quartz really has no standards for what he'll put in as a confessional. That's something I've noticed over the years. I kind of like how in that video, though, it keeps going to Justin. That's pretty funny. Okay, okay this was... Can I just, like... I've done that before. <laughs> I've done that before with one of my gang buddies. <laughs> he got so mad at me, he killed someone. Oh, no, allegedly. You said it twice, Frey. You said you said what I was saying. What what did he mean by this? What did Kcom mean by this? I always skip the confessionals in Quartz's camp because they fucking suck. Like almost all the time they fucking suck because Quartz will just include anything. No standard having ass. I don't know which friend he was talking about. I'll put it on record. Bonnet Head Gaming. I'm a fan of Bonnet Head Gaming. I watch that every morning. Bruh. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna play the whole ass song. Oh, fuck this shit. The volume is not too loud for that. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. That's another bro moment right there. I swear. One of these fangled, newfangled bro moments you kids are always talking about. That was one of them. Planter? <sighs> oh, the court, the court really made that thumbnail? She. I, I, I forgot if my friend Inferno made a confessional. I completely forgot. Uh, it looks like I didn't. He didn't. I can tell because these confessionals fucking sick. Mental issues? Ha! <laughs> I bet. <laughs> That's funny. Oh look, this is my friend. My friend. Mental issues? That's funny. I have mental issues. <laughs> yeah. What's up guys? It's Gwandio Digga. I mean, oh, Quartz here. Quartz! What? Yeah. I gave him this idea. I mean, Inferno did. Oh shit! Use his actual character. He's gonna fucking lose, cause he he didn't even be creative with it. He made it fucking meta. We already fucking won. If you made it meta. That's the stupidest fucking idea I've ever heard, if it isn't. The only chance is if your next writer is actually good and didn't fuck up this badly by making it fucking meta. Okay, it's Ruby Leaf. He can't be that bad. What? Okay. Wait, well, this, I got fucking wild dudes in here? Yeah, down I remember that. I played Kirby. <laughs> Alright, everyone. We grind your weapons as the gates open. The rumbling stops as the gates do. And you know what that means? Roll for initiative. Actually, I can't take dice box. Roll down a set of stairs and in front of the characters. The D20 showed a date. And it said Castle, or guards at the SHS Great Bear Attack. The thief vanished for a few seconds, then reappeared to deliver the first break on the guards. The mage passed out a fireball, causing some of the armor to melt. The soldiers protecting the castle retaliated. They totally lost their characters. Suddenly, terror struck the soldiers as they soon realized the weapons had melted too. To cool them down, the they went from a game of D&D &D to a game of jack shit. This is when suddenly, That's all I'm saying. Coming out of the shadows, the legendary black mage. The 
this is completely disconnected from the start of the story, which, you know, that's kind of the point, but, you know, they didn't even try. Dude, this is the first team. We're gonna win this challenge. By we're, I mean we. By we, I mean me and my buddy Inferno, who's on the second team. We're not gonna win. I can already tell this story is dog water. Oh, there's fucking Nessie. That fucker. That motherfucker. This story fucking sucks. There's no creativity. It's just like guy going through a dungeon fighting shit. There's no creativity in this story, which I wonder if all the stories are going to devolve into something like this. Because, like, like, they're not, like, because, like, the more iterations you go through, like, maybe the more and more stuff you lose. I hope the, <laughs> I hope our character that we've put in I hope he stays throughout the whole story because that would be funny. At least in one of the two branches. Using their own stretching place of mana, cut into the mage directly as they felt a searing pain all over the body. The dark mage cried from the snickering. Oh shit! The Pink Bunny Empire did exactly what I suggested he do, where he divide the columns. I like that. I like that. Right there. What have you done? I love that chord. So fucking <laughs> these vocals on this. Thanks for taking my idea. I, I love this. I don't think Quartz's voice has appeared in one of his camps before. Is that? Is that the first time? My hair was getting my fucking eye. By the time this is done and they were unconscious, the ground erupted into earthquakes on the two. As the dark mages left on them, became big part unusable. If the dark mage needs to fall, it's just a joke. I don't know. I mean, Pink Bunny's probably the best writer on this team so far. I don't know. Maybe a few others were doing good. An angel demon, ready to fly away. But a force from the other world that goes, I am still mm. not done with you, said the mage. Impossible. You're supposed to be dead, said the dark mage in contradiction. Trying to fly away. Dark mage took flight and still got the mage out of the hole too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, the mage caught one dark mage's wings, screaming agony. The dark mage tried to fly. I'm just kidding. Mage. I ain't doing nothing like that. Would make him fall to his demise. The mage really had the last laugh, but sadly, he didn't have wings or magic. So, both fall into the underworld. A true hero. That was one interesting game of D and D. The town never had any more problems since then. Why not? You're welcome, by the way, Bill interrupted. Isn't this method a little dubious, though? As the card thought. What do you think, Flask? Faze asked. It looks like Flask doesn't even know what's happening. Though in all honesty, Faze didn't expect Flask to understand what was going on. You don't encounter a machine like this every day. Not one that's a Oh, this is actually more interesting so far. Meanwhile, Flask stared in awe as the mechanisms before them. It was impossible to comprehend this. And I, I like what Pokeleaf did, where he put the two characters in the last two sentences. That actually means that they'll stay in the story, which is probably a good thing. Last one, it kind of worked because it, like, diverged into a story about D&D, so you could say the characters are still there. But, uh, there we go, Pantsaw. That fucking bastard. This like quiet instrumental music you put in the background fucking goes hard. I'm gonna be honest, doing this shit. Honestly, pencil's writing a pretty good story. I'm not gonna lie. Still the fucking bastard though. I haven't forgotten about Cot. <laughs> he wrote three sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought I thought Quartz ad libbed that, but no, that's actually what he wrote down. That's fucking stupid. As such, the people want Napo dead. Napo was so hated, the world needed to find an effective way to eliminate him. After many hours of debating, every government put a bounty on Napo's head for our nineteen dollar Fortnite card. Who wants it? Quartz cracking up. I love to see it. With the promise of a nineteen dollar Fortnite card. 
That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny. Not Joe and Morbius? No week three? <laughs> oh, finally me. I mean, Inferno. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to see what's what's made of this. Papal. He's fucking papal. Papal, as in Pope. <laughs> That's actually a reference to something. Okay, that's a little better. Papal hell portal. <laughs> I gave him the perfect setup to like do it well. I mean, Inferno did, yeah. Oh, he didn't mention hell, so uh, it's probably going to diverge from that. Oh, wait, unless the next guys are allowed to read that. Oh. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> okay, I see it. I, okay, okay, the last two sentences, not the ones before the note. Yeah, <laughs> this is good. The baby! <laughs> Kanye, he got special powers. I'm telling you, we're winning this one. We're fucking winning this one. <laughs> Let's go. What? Can you waste? Is the next guy gonna use Kenya West too? Because if he does, I'm pissed. Okay, he. Okay. What? <laughs> this is awesome. What? It's Trump. I wish me. You did a great job, and this is fucking funny. Wait, hold on. It's Trump. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> That's an untold lore right there. <laughs> Imagine it goes back to being in hell. That would be something. Oh, 
party is moving to the Dola party. This party symbolizes the monkey, and with the color of yellow, the leader turns to off the primary colors. The party nurtures the plans that follow the ways of the free plan. What the fuck is this? This has nothing to do with what was before. Wasn't there like Kanye and stuff in the last sentence? Muaz, you bitch. Nah, nah, it's okay. We're good. <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> This is still way better than what the other team did. I'm telling you. It's all nothing now. Either we take the targets out or we die trying. Let's do this, everyone. So we started executing our plan. At first, it went quite well. Frey's doing a good job with what he got, but I'm not going to lie. Muaz kind of fucked that path up. It was going really good. Muaz, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, brother. You, you're like a brother to me, but you fucked that up. Let's be honest. I mean, Wish Mute didn't do perfect either, but he did good. He kept the characters in there. I hope the other end. I wonder what Shandul's gonna do. I wonder what that fucking scramp is gonna do. That Jersey boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he already lost Kanye. Wait. <laughs> God? Okay, that's kind of funny because it relates to the story. This one went off the rails way faster, but it's kind of funny. Nickabod! 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 Video game master, aka Nick Abad, really took what he got and made it into a gem. This is awesome. <laughs> He's a good story writer. He must have passed English 12 with flying colors. I didn't read his last two sentences, but... Uh, but it seems like they lost Kwande and Dingle too. No more characters. Still, still pretty good, I think. I mean, I think Lux like, I don't. Maybe Nick about missed out on the last two sentences having like Kwande and Dingle on it. I don't know. You know, maybe this is still Kanye. And Rogan. Kanye and Rogan. They failed to get the hat, but uh, they did do something. Did you actually fucking make us go through all of that just for some gas station sushi? The Pope secretly sent Kanye and Rogan to reclaim his hat, but it was actually for sushi. That's what I my takeaway is from that. These sentences are way too fucking long. They still use their fucking characters. I'm looking at his last two sentences and I just see some bathroom shit. Is this about the the transgender bathroom situation? I have no political opinions. Uh, you guys all know that. I've never said a political opinion in my life. So nobody can cancel me about that. I haven't said nothing about it. That's all I'm saying. 
<laughs> Wait, TAC? Isn't that a guy? Snip <gasps> bitch got murdered? Bill Ho got killed. There's my boy, Evan. That bastard. Nah, just kidding. Me and Evan are cool. Are ghoul. You know, this might actually work out because they're using like their team's characters rather than just like their characters, but that could work out if they do it. Is Tack the name of the character? <gasps> and see that cookie fucking died? Imagine they bring back Ruby later because they don't know Ruby died. I like what C Tax is doing with this. This is good. This is cool. They really like doing this. They're doing a good job. I'm scared of these guys because they're actually doing sort of a good job. They're like making a serious murder story. All I know is that Team One is not fucking winning. They did a shit job. They just made a fucking D and D story that was boring. I think the fact that we had both the baby and Quandell Dingle on our story. Quartz has got to give us the highest score. I don't know about those other two bastards. Those fucking bastards. They're biased against me. That's what I say, at least. Whenever there's a fucking code judge, they're always biased against me. That's what I noticed. I hope I get a prize for Inferno. I hope that guy gets a prize. I think he earned it. I think he earned it with that. Like, look at that. He made Kanye go to hell to get the Pope hat. I think that's cool. But it's okay if I don't. I only be, like, really mad. I keep imagining, what if this is what Quartz actually said to the guy when he typed this? It's like, are you fucking mad? Why do you say that? Dude, they're doing a fucking good job. I'm actually scared these guys are going to win. Which is, you know, it's whatever. But uh, we're going to have to eliminate another fucking guy. 
it's probably going to be like Lux. Sorry, Lux. Wasn't my choice. My friends keep like really wanting to kill you. That that story was really consistent. I think that might win. I'm worried about that one. Hey, I'm doing it now. Swiss cheeks? Or Swiss cheeks? Holy shit. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. I think this team might actually win. Huh. It's not there. Oh. Okay, obviously I'm not watching this. No wonder this video is 50 minutes long. <laughs> it's funny I was being self-referential. That's kind of funny. Whew. This is getting exhausting. Not really. Not that exhausting. I'm being... This story is like remaining consistent. That's what I think it is. Like they use their team's characters, which like lay to it being very consistent because they keep like implant implementing the other team's characters. They're doing a good job. Oh fuck you, Ashton! Get you or get your ass off dark mode. If your ass was on dark, get your ass on dark mode. Get your ass off light mode. If your ass was on dark. Uh, Oh shit, scores. All right, all right, fuck this shit. <gasps> Incredibly weak. Yeah, it was fucking weak. That's what I said. I don't really want to spend this long on everything. Yeah. I want to look at like my team scores. All right, wait, what What do I get? <laughs> I want to see. Holy shit. Um. Oh, pretty good. Fuck you. Hey, wait, is that Ashton? Fuck you, fish tank. I, I think that's Ashton. Is that Ashton? They're totally going to give Jesus a higher score. Oh, yeah, they just... Oh, just one more score. But hold up, we're still doing better than everyone else so far. Let's let's keep watching. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Eh? Yeah, you fucking ruined it. You ruined it. I'm telling you. Our team 
did pretty good. I think the next team might beat us, though. Oh, you guys didn't like it as much? I like this entry. Oh, shit. Dude, they're fucking beating us. I, I, I don't know what to say. They fucking beat us. They did. Someone's going to be auto-eliminated. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Damn. That's crazy. I imagine that's going to, like, fucking absolutely doom some people. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's going to be like Wario, right? Either way, those bottom three are fucked. Those bottom three are fucked because they're always going to have the lowest average. Maybe it should be, like, lowest average in the last three challenges, because, like, lowest average overall is kind of, like, harsh. Oh, shit. Damn. Shit. All right, so the last team won, right? I did not expect them to win at all. Yep, yep, there we go. Actually, we did the worst. That's that's bullshit. I should have gotten a higher score, too, I think. I don't know, in my opinion. Their team name fucking sucks, let's be honest. But so does Cuisine's name. Everyone's fucking stupid, because they make their teams like all these stupid acronyms. Keep it simple, Rogang, nice. All right, well, this team's going to be here, here with a funny time. Very funny. Shit, well, that's it. Uh, I would have had, like, a bigger reaction if, like, if it wasn't obvious who was going to lose that time, but eh, whatever. It's all right. It's a good episode, I think. It was pretty good. Oh, shit, Mr. Beast. Oh, shit, that was 11 months ago. I already watched that, man. The truth behind Trump, Mr. Beast. Ruin my <laughs> fact. This shit. This shit is all stupid. Anyways, see you in my next video. Truck Hunter 42 out.